Two women abducted near Birmingham and brought to Gunnersville are home safe tonight. And police say the women were kept in the vehicle that was used by three individuals who tried to rob Griffin's jewelry store in Gunnersville. Police say the attempted robbers are still on the loose. News 19's Archie Snowden has new details about the crime that shocked the city of Gunnersville. The Gunnersville community is left in a state of disbelief after three people entered Griffin's jewelry store in a holdup attempt on Thursday. According to police, the men jumped out of a white minivan. Gunfire was exchanged between the suspects and the store's manager, and the men fled in the van. A lieutenant with the Brighton Police Department tells News 19 that during that exchange, two women who were abducted from Brighton City were in the van the entire time fearing for their lives. The pair were working at the Bessemer Superhighway, one of the busiest roads in the community. What they do is every morning between 5 and 7 a.m., they sell food and water to the residents in the area that they're in the work. According to Lieutenant Kenneth Hooten of the Brighton Police Department, surveillance video shows the two women were being abducted by the men who approached them on foot, forcing them into the van. Around 8 a.m., after not seeing the van at its regular location, family members of the women contacted Brighton Police. Around 11 a.m., authorities say a call came in from the women to the family members to tell them that they were in a Lowe's parking lot in Gunnersville on Highway 431, less than a mile from the scene of the robbery. Gunnersville was actually in the active um, crime scene of the robbery that took place involving a white minivan that was matching the description of the minivan that was stolen out of the city of Wright. The women are now safe at home with their families. In Gunnersville, Archie Snowden, News 19. So far, Gunnersville police have not identified anyone as a su suspect in the case.